here's a short recap of part 5 of the Frogger miniseries. First, in the Blueprints folder, let's create a new Blueprint class using the Actor Base class and call it BP underscore Moving Objects. Open the Blueprint, and in its Components section, let's add the Interp to Movement component, which will drive the movement logic for our vehicles, our logs, and the turtles. We'll also add in a box collision and a simple arrow to round out this Blueprint. Next, let's go into the Construction Script tab and drag in our Interp to Movement component into the graph. From the Interp node, pull off the blue pin to set our behavior type. Let's repeat this process for the control points as well as the duration nodes. Now, on each node, right click on the left side or the input side of the pin and choose Promote to Variable. This will give us three variables, which will include the behavior type, the duration, and the control points. Select each variable and check the box for Instance Editable in the Details panel, or you can click on the eyeball icon in the variable tree. Then, click the box component and head into the event graph and right click to add a collision event called on component begin overlap. We'll pull off this node into a cast to BP underscore player and then into a branch node to check if the player is already dead. If the player isn't dead, then we'll want to call the death event, which we still need to create. Let's open the player blueprint and create a custom event called death. We'll create a Boolean variable called is dead and then pull the death event into a branch check that uses the inverse of is dead variable to validate the player isn't currently in a death state. If they are not dead, let's simply set the is dead variable to true and we'll call a print string that simply says you died. Now let's head back to our BP underscore moving objects blueprint and use the cast node to check the player's is dead variable in the branch check we made earlier. If they are not already dead, then we can simply call the death event we just created. Finally, Let's right click our player objects blueprint and create a child class that we can call BP underscore Cadillac. Let's add a simple cube and drag it into the world. We can set our parameters for behavior type to loop reset, our duration to four seconds, and we can add in two control points and move them around in the world so we can play and test our project out. And just like that, we created a parent class that we can use to derive our vehicles, logs, and turtles for the remainder of this project. Stay tuned for part six.